Hello and welcome YouTube, Stevan here with All American Print Supply. And we get the question all the time, how do I maximize my production? This is not a how-to video, it's gonna be DTF Workflow Fundamentals 101. Brought a lot of new equipment here to debut. You guys ready to get cooking? We're in a one-man operation. We're basically controlling the whole show, all the different equipment pieces. Step one is to be getting our print going. Now after we have this completed, we're gonna show how we maximize our efficiency every step of the way. Now, for a lot of beginning DTF users, you got your first print coming out, we want to run over that powder station. I don't know about you guys, but whether you're using an automatic powder applicator or powdering by hand, that part's a pretty quick process. So to optimize our efficiency, before I go on to that next step and begin powdering, let's go ahead and get that first next print going. Again, we're just going to stage this up like so. My AA Platin grip strips, job's already queued up. Boom, printer's going, I'm running, I'm rolling. Key element one, no idle time on my printer. After I got my first job out of the machine, I got the next one going. It's not standing around waiting for me. Up next is gonna be powdering. Now, while I am pretty fast at powdering by hand, using this back and forth motion, I've always thought there's gotta be a better way. Typically, these automated powder, applicator, shaker, dryer units are usually reserved only for the roll directed film printers. But wait, you know, while we're talking about workflow, it'd be a shame not to mention the Seismo. The all new S20 DTF power station is a great way to increase our productivity with this crucial step of the DTF printing process. Very user friendly, convenient desktop size. All we're gonna do is use these adjustable guides to place our printed transfer as high as possible, like so. And then we got our hot melting powder reservoir up here, very easy to load. And we're gonna hit this lever here. This is doing all the powdering for me, dropping it in a nice, controlled, consistent manner. And I'm not gonna flick this off any of the excess myself, which is another step that takes time. I can go ahead and adjust the vibrational controls here. Get all that shaking off there. No excess powder around my image means no dots transferring, just the beautiful water-based textile printed ink graphic. From the makers of the Mr. T pre-treat machine equipment line, we are proud to introduce from Ecofreen the all-new Mr. T Cyclone. As I mentioned, previously, automatic powder shakers, those are typically reserved for the roll DTF printers, leaving us sheet printers, maybe you're using your direct-to-garment machine for producing DTF as well, kind of out of luck. Well, no more. Simply place your film right along here, and then we're just gonna do a quick step of the foot pedal. Boom, and there we have it. The Cyclone is gonna take care of all the rest. The automatic feeder is gonna feed my film into the machine. It's gonna drop the powder, remove all the excess, and then you have the convenience of placing it directly onto a conveyor jar of your choosing for quick and efficient drying of the powder. Boom. As you can see, thanks to my Ecofree brand new Mr. T Cyclone, my fresh DTF transfer is fully powdered and it shook off all the excess. Now, when I was learning the direct-to-film process initially, this is how I was curing the hot melting powder to my wet prints. I would place it in my heat press and I would literally hover the heating element over everything to try and get that dried. The nice part is it requires no additional investment as I already have the heat press that I'm using to stamp these transfers. But the downsides, where do I start? One, this is gonna take some time and patience to perform this in this manner. And number two, my production is at a standstill because I'm using this to hover dry the wet powder and the ink. I'm not stamping any shirts. It's not the efficient way to do this, not how we optimize our workflow. Let's see about some of our other options. Now you have your option here of letting this feed directly onto the conveyor belt of a compact desktop D1000 infrared curing system from Vastec or the dryer of your choice. But what if you don't have the special electrical for such a piece of equipment? Or maybe it's a little bit out of what our budget is right now for our business. We still have options to optimize our DTF workflow like the AA Phoenix curing oven. Let's go dry it in that. You know, with the rising popularity of direct-to-film transfer printing, we're trying to do everything we can to keep up with innovation. And that includes releasing new products and resources to increase our efficiency, maximize our workflow. I'd like to introduce you guys to the Phoenix Curing Oven line, available in A3 and 16x20. is a great way to not only leave your heat press free to continue production, but also to consistently and evenly cure your hot melting powder to your wet DTF prints. So as you can see, single heat press is not the way to optimize our efficiency. Investments like dryers and ovens not only save us time, that's saving us money. 
Now I got my next print coming out of my machine. I've already used my resources to powder efficiently, hands-free. Now let's go to application. We're gonna go ahead and position this here. And with my A Prisma Auto Press, I can go ahead, step away, continue manufacturing and production. I don't have to worry about any kind of burns, any scorching, any overcooking. I don't need to return back to my machine. Auto heat presses are a great way to increase your efficiency as we don't have to run back to the press as soon as the timer is done. The release is gonna open in a nice, smooth, controlled manner. And there we have it. All right, analysis time. Let's talk about where we save some time. Starting with the printing. As we mentioned, after that first design came out on my film, before I went to the powdering station, I got my next print going. I mean, the printer had no idle time. You gotta be a chef in the kitchen, have everything cooking at the same time. Up next was the powdering. How do we save time? We're talking about consistency. With the powder machines that we looked at today, there is virtually no learning curve. So you can have a consistent powder application and powder shaking every time. Additionally, it's also hands-free. So definitely save some minutes there. Now, what about the drying? The heat press method, we talked about time consuming, halting our production, we're not pressing any transfers. The heat press should be doing what it's made to do, what its name implies, which is pressing heat. The oven or the conveyor dryer is going to be hands-free consistency, drying that evenly for us each and every time. And with the use of the conveyor dryer or the oven, my heat press is free to continue production going, no stops, no halts, no breaks. DTF is not going anywhere. Some say we're still in the wild, wild western days of this type of practice. You know, we're maximizing our time, maximizing our workflow, we're maximizing our resources. I hope you got some good tips from this if you are a one-man operation to really increase your efficiency if it's just you by yourself. You know, all American Print Supply, we try to be your one-stop shop. Whether it's garments, film, ink, equipment, or supplies, we got your back. If you guys made it this far in the video, if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and tap that post notification bell if you never miss any of our awesome content. And leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can drop that in the section below. My name is Esteban. We'll see you on the next one.